Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm really happy and excited this morning because I'm going to BeautyCon. Um, I'm excited to try and meet some people. And yeah, I'm hoping it'll be really fun. So I'm going to take you guys with me today. Is it recording? Okay, it's recording. Um, Alright, so I have finished getting dressed. And when my sister gets off the toilet, I will show you my outfit. <laughs> okay, so... You okay? You dropped this. I did not. Alexa, you just zoomed past it with a purpose. <laughs> Come on. I did not. Yes, you did. You did. Seriously, that's why I said, whoa. Because I thought the socks were going to fall, too. I'm not kidding. I didn't need to... I did... Your elbow or something must have touched it. it no, but nothing touched it. This falls from nothing. Well, what is falling to go off past it? Look, you subscribe and you got to look into our life. <laughs> Anyways, this is my outfit. Yeah, don't edit that out. Just keep it. <laughs> Just keep that. I'm not gonna edit it. This is real. This is cool. <laughs> this, this is real. Yeah. Be catching, catching everything that happens in my house. But yeah, this is my outfit. My shirt is from H and M, and it has little uh, gold buttons on the wrists and my pants are from top shop like how many years ago a year ago two years ago okay so like a year ago a little over a year ago because i got them when i turned 18 and i got this last year as well yeah it was because it was in your yearbook it wasn't in uh -huh. so my outfit and my sister is so fashionable this morning. She is sporting. Uh, my hair isn't even done. <laughs> she is sporting a Supreme, no, wait, Obey on, shirt. Get it together. And some stylish pink shorts from Victoria's Secret. And they're not even pink. <laughs> but yeah. We can go downstairs now. Because I'm gonna. Eat before I do my makeup. And you guys haven't met my puppy yet, so I'm gonna show you my puppy. Hi, princess! That's my puppy. I gotta open the gate. Sorry if that hurt anybody's eardrums. Hi, princess! That's my puppy. Well, I'll turn on the light so you guys can see her. Hey, princess. Everybody loves a good puppy footage. In case anyone's wondering, she's a Lhasa Apso mix. I don't know what she's mixed with. I think it's a Shih Tzu or a Bichon. Because my last dog was a Bichon, so... Yeah. That's my puppy. I want to tell you guys about last night. Last night, I could barely even sleep because I was so excited and nervous because I don't know if I'm going to meet the people that I want to meet because I know Karen is going to be there. And if you don't know her, who Karen is, you might know her better as I Love Sarai. Um, I know Melly Sanchez is going to be there and she's known as the Fashion Freak on Instagram and um, Aaliyah J is gonna be there and everybody knows who Aaliyah J is and if you don't um, I'll just leave everything in the description box below but yeah so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast I'm gonna make some toast with cream cheese and grape jelly so I'll see you guys later all right guys so <clears throat> I just finished my makeup um, I also did my sister's. It's 11.02 right now, so we're gonna leave soon. But here's my sister's makeup. 
closing remarks. Yeah, I think that that's me. But yeah, and here's mine. It's on me, right? Okay. Here's mine. And yeah, we're gonna get ready to leave. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get ready to leave. So I will see you guys at BeautyCon. All right, guys. So we made it to the city, and now we're just walking there. <sighs> yeah, excited. Okay, you guys. Uh, Jordan is here, and so it's just.
I'm not mad, and you shouldn't be either. Thank you. Oh, and so does Kelly. <laughs> so does she. No, I think she has a question. But she asked me, how do you stay confident every single day? You guys are not always confident. I have the same insecurities just like you. I wake up sometimes and feel bigger than I've ever felt before. I feel fat. I will walk into a room with a crowd of very thin women and know that they're judging me because of how big I am. But I take it and I wear my pride on my arm and I say, I'm here for a reason. My body is changing someone's life. I have my cellulite hang out on my runway when I do my lingerie show. And I say, this cellulite is changing her life because she has it too. And at the end of the day, it's about inclusivity and empowerment. And not being afraid to have the things that people have called flaws and ugly out there in the world. Very true. I'm, I'm so glad you said that because sometimes it's easier said than done to check someone, right? Um, my mother did something great. And it's more that she didn't do something. She never looked in the mirror and she never called herself fat. So I never saw myself as fat. So any friend that came around me and said, oh, you look a little big today, or oh, but you're the big girl. So like, you know, there's always one big girl in the friend group, right? And it was always me too. So I always had that insecurity and I always held it against me, me and like, you know, did all this crazy crap because of it. I was the you know, I was cursed. This is a young crew, we can curse. <laughs> Anyways, I had a boyfriend tell me once that I needed to lose some weight. I needed to lose 20 pounds in order to be the perfect woman. And I know, can you believe it? I do tell people I'm almost the perfect woman, I just don't cook or clean. But wow, damn. what happened with that boyfriend was um, I kicked him out right in that moment, and that empowered me to not keep people around me that were calling me the big girl, the fat girl. Oh, it's okay, you can't shop with us today. Because at the end of the day, just like Kelly said, like you you have to know your worth. And if those are the people you're surrounding yourself with, what is that saying about you? Right? success and also what you can learn from setbacks and failures and basically how to be a boss. You guys ready to learn how to be a boss today? Woo! Alright, but before we get started, we have a fun little video that we're going to play for you guys, so let's take it away.
So Drea, I know that you have a really successful swimsuit line, Miss Mint Swim. So tell us about when you decided that you wanted to start your own brand and what kind of inspired all of that. Hi everybody. Hi. Anybody's from PA, it's, uh, it's not really a beach and pool state, so I had to get out of there. I had to get to LA and I had to get focused. And the reality TV opportunity presented itself. I said, heck yes, I'm there on the first plane, and I created Men's Swim. Good work, girl. So, let's talk to Bessie. What are some obstacles and struggles, um, or any kind of self doubts that you've had to overcome here? Um, in your journey to success? I think it's so hard here because people just think it's so easy to become successful overnight. It just doesn't happen like that. You know, there's a new issue every day that we probably all have to deal with and we just have to get through it. I think it's just like pushing through and you know, that's, that makes the difference. Miss Tara. We were talking about Tara, 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 Tara. <laughs> so, how important is social media, kind of like building your brand on social media and especially like maintaining that kind of status that you were on social media? I think it's just important to make sure that we're always on trend. And that's why the Explore page on Instagram is key. It's like a major key for it. You want to grow your brand or whatever it is that you serve. Because you get to see what everyone wants to see. You make sure that the most important things are always visible. So it's just being on trend and making sure that you're always fresh. I'm glad you want to for you. You're so talking about social media, uh -huh. you're welcome. Well, well. For anybody that wants to take this one, how do you create? Anybody else here obsessed with Snapchat? Woo! I 
literally feel like Snapchat is like ratchet me, and then like my Instagram is like professional. I shouldn't be afraid to be the boss. Like I think there's like a little bit of a stigma when Alright, so do you guys have some questions you guys want to ask? Yes. Alright, so I believe we have a mic right in the center. So we're going to take a few questions if you guys want to um, ask a question. Just make sure you speak right into the mic so that we can hear you. So, go ahead. I definitely have a set schedule. I'm definitely 
I try my hardest to be home every single day by five. So even though I don't have a traditional nine to five job, I can set my own hours and I still try to make it home by five. So I can be home with my boys. When my son gets home from school, I can help him with his homework, even though it's junior high homework and it is so hard. I can barely help him with his homework, but I'm there. And for my baby, I'm there. And you know, we gotta work. And that's part of being a mom. And your kids will understand it and they will thank you for it later. Thank you very much. I think we have time for one last question. of taking off my makeup and 
Yeah, I'm home now, and in the process of taking off my makeup. But yeah, I had a good time. And right now I'm just taking off my makeup because I'm about to go get my eyebrows done. And then I'm just gonna come back home and chill and do some drawing uh, for my cousin. So I will talk to you guys later. And this is where I'm saying goodbye. So I'll see you guys.